Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ice Lakes, and this is the second leg of the New World Tournament that we've been taking part of with different lakes that are associated with the Western Hemisphere, and we are going to be going this time to Harding Herring's Canal, and the gist of the whole thing is a 30-minute session to get the three biggest fish. That's the total weight of the three biggest fish caught to determine the winner. Now, last time we managed to come out ahead. We're going to see if we can do that yet again. But at the moment, I am still up at the top. So that's that's a good thing. But let's check to see what type of critters we've got in here. We've got pretty much the same types of things we had in the other lake. Largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, sturgeon. Uh, the biggest were going to be the salmon, most likely, and the sturgeon. So we're going to try to shoot for those for the most part, as well as the pike. So, and since we know how to get the pike, it's usually pretty, pretty standardly easy to accomplish. The biggest fish that's been caught here by myself was a 7.48 whitefish, but honestly, I haven't been here that many times, so that doesn't say a whole lot. Anyway, let's go ahead and get the depths on here. And I will say there's a couple of good spots that I can see right off the bat that we're gonna take a try on. So let's go ahead and get this started. It does have ice shacks, which is actually pretty good considering that it's so darn cold, it doesn't ice up as much. But I think I know where I want to go to start off with. All right, we are going to go right over here to this particular ice shack. It's right in a deep spot. So let's go ahead and go in here. guys let's see we have still got the salmon snake we might as well stick with that and I think we'll stick with the same lure as well yeah the setup is pretty much the same as it was before and if there's salmon here they should go for it and the pike should too the pike pretty much go for just about anything now my favorite lure for that has got to be the green goblin but We'll see if we can't get some salmon action right here. Well, guys, they are not really biting that much here. I mean, they're not biting at all, to be honest. I might do a little switcheroo here. I'm going to go ahead and put on a green goblin just because Let's see if there's a big pike down there and can't remember if that's the right one for them or not or if it's the night sparkle it's the night sparkle okay we'll go with that and we'll see if we can't find us a big pike down there that would be a good start. Yeah, the Green Goblin's a good all-around lure. And I'm not totally giving up on this hole just yet. But if nothing happens here soon, we are going to go to another location maybe at the headwaters of one of these rivers and see if anything happens there. 
do one last thing. I'll raise this up a little bit. There we go. Not anything big though, guys. Black crappie. Huh. That is a little fish. <laughs> it's a little bitty fish. But where there are little fish, there are big predators. So let's give this another try here. I wouldn't rule it out just yet. Wow, this is a lousy spot. All right. We do not have time to play around, guys. All right, let's do this. Hello, bunny rabbit. Let's go over here to the headwaters. It's kind of looking like what that's what a lot of these people are doing. It's going to take us a minute to get over there, though. Right about here. Perfect. Let's try it right there. We'll try this for a minute. Not sure I'm going to stick with it though. There we go. That's a little bit more encouraging. I think that is our pike, guys. And he's not huge. here let's switch to a different lure here guys let's see the tiger that's not what we're after here silver bite let's try that one haven't done this one for quite a while also I'm gonna check the hook I've got the meteor That's the, let's put the Africa on there. We need to get something big here, guys. And put the Sharky on there. All right, this is not big. Seems to be crappie central. We're going to raise this up just a little bit. Let's see if we can do it just off the bottom. Things already icing up. That's why it's sometimes nice to be in these ice shacks. going to do this until about 20 minutes and then we're going to move to a different location. And I don't think that's going to be a problem because the fish we're getting is pretty small, pretty small. Just not hitting the hot spot apparently. Let's go over on this side. Oh. 
There's a cliff. Couldn't get down it. All right. Actually, either of these would be wouldn't be too bad under normal conditions. Let's just try this one. I'm going to go just off the bottom this time. I go back to the salmon snake and to the meteor. Because neither one of those impressed me. <laughs> Let's see if we can't find something decent size down there. Alright. Still not a big fish. Bluegill. Hmm. Well, we're definitely seeing some North American species, but Okay, that's the first salmon I've seen. That's a good sign. Let's raise this up just a little bit more. Put a little more bait down there and let's give it another try. Maybe they're just not as deep. Because where there's one salmon, there are more. They are schooling fish, so... Let's just keep at it. There's got to be a big fella down there. Okay, that's a little better. That's a pike. I mean, I'm, I'm getting them now. It's just that nothing's coming very big. There we go. Yeah, I think we're going to stake with this spot for a little bit. Okay, there's another salmon. Not sure how the others are doing, but... Not feeling all that confident. <laughs> It's got to be the three biggest fish. And I think, what, two and a half pounds has been my biggest? Come on. There we go. Much better. This one actually has a little more fight in it. And that's, now we're getting, now we're getting there. I'm going to bring this up just another touch. A little more lure. I mean, lure's cheap. <laughs> if it'll increase our odds of getting the really big salmon, let's go for it. There we go. Still nothing just blowing my mind yet, but it's sti still, it is better than what it was.
darn old bluegill. <laughs> Better, much better. It's a, right around two and a half pounds. I don't know what it is about that weight. Yeah. Not much is happening here, guys. It is time to leave. All right, let's see. Where could we go that might be better? Yeah, I think I'm going to head over here. Unfortunately, some of the others seem to think this is a good spot too, so I don't know. We'll see. Alright, drop a little bit of lure. The lure down in, and hopefully, we'll attract a big old fish. We have been getting fish, we just haven't gotten anything monstrous. And truth be known, some lakes don't have that big a fish in them. This could be one of those. Bluegill. I'm telling you, that has been a bluegill kind of day, hasn't it? Yeah, another small fish. It's a bluegill, and we're getting up. We're done. We are done with this area. We're going to try one more thing. We're going to go deep. We're going to go deep, deep, deep. Right along here. Small channel down there. Just check this channel out. Nothing comes of it. Well, I guess we'll have to take our knocks. Sometimes you just don't find the fish. I mean, that's life. Come on. That's better. It's still not a monster. And you're used to fishing for the barracuda. You usually expect it to be bowing over like crazy. Yeah, I'm going to have to check the records for this because I'm kind of curious just how big they come out of here. You know, like some place like the duck pond, I don't think they ever come out of there better than 10 pounds. 
Yeah, he's a little fella. Little bitty fella. Good thing is we're very close to the starting gate, so if we want to hang here a little longer than usual, we can do so. Okay, that's better. That's a pike. Yeah, because even the pike here are kind of small. There we go. It's not a bad size blue kill. Okay, let's lift it off the bottom a little bit. Sometimes they just aren't down on the bottom. Sometimes you will find them closer to the middle. We are running out of time here, guys. We just got a little over two minutes. And we have yet to... Well, never mind. We might have caught a big one this time. This one's fighting pretty good. That's better. Now we're going to wait this out as long as we can. We're not that far. Another good size one like that, and we might still be in this. Yeah, this isn't big. Little fella. I'm just going to do it for one little bit. Then we got a skedaddle. Yep, we got to go, guys. Too risky. No sense completely losing the tournament. At least we can place. <laughs> But it's really not that far. Yeah, we were pushing it, weren't we? That's what I call pushing it. I don't know how the rest of them did, but I'm not really feeling all that confident, guys. We'll see. third place so the biggest fish was still only 7.19 pounds but that doesn't mean I'm out of this yet does not mean I'm out of this yet but yeah even these others they did do is that all that much better <laughs> fish in here just must be smaller it's all there is well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And next time, we're going to be at the duck pond for the total weight. Now, we're talking small fish here. <laughs> They're not going to come very big. But we'll see what we can do. And that looks like we've got a lot of the same types of species. 
but the biggest we got in here is going to be the pike maybe the carp the bullheads i think what i'm going to be focusing on on that when i get there i'm going to be focusing on the pike and the bullheads because i think we can probably pull some pretty good size ones out of there like i always say aim straight cast far and have fun i will see you later bye bye